everybody, it is Angie at Treasured Vintage bringing you a haul video and there's so much jewelry here it's ridiculous. Uh, there's over a hundred pieces. Yeah, I was a little sick when I bought it. I felt a little sick but then I felt excited and then sick and then excited and then sick but <laughs> Anyway, I went for it, and I got it, and here it is. There are over 30 uh, signed pieces. Some of them are very high-end uh, costume jewelry, some very good names. So uh, some of them I have listed already, just a few of them. Uh, it's going to take me, I don't know, maybe even a year to list it all. So I really don't need to go to thrift stores. I don't need to go to, to yard sales. So that, that brings a dilemma uh, when it comes to springtime because I know I'm going to want to go. But I've got so much good stuff right here and I blame it on not being able to find a jewelry jar. When I couldn't find a jewelry jar, I just got so frustrated. But now I have so many good things and, and I was guaranteed the good things because I knew what I was getting. So, let me start with the designer stuff. The stuff that's uh, good good costume jewelry, good costume jewelry names. There was a lot of uh, chunky pieces in here, which I like. Um, these are Carol Lee. Big, nice, clip-on earrings. So they were, they were nice pieces. Very nice condition. Signed pieces. I have taken pictures of them. They're in the shop already. Uh, Irwin Pearl. There's there's um, pieces in here that I had never heard of the name before. Uh, I'm not sure, you know, how high end Irwin Pearl is, but uh, they have, there's some nice pieces. Most of them are matte gold tone. These are nice stars. Signed Irwin Pearl. Uh, there's some other ones signed Irwin Pearl. Where are they at? I, had, I think I had like three pairs signed Irwin Pearl. Ah, I'll get to them when I get to them. <laughs> some of them are signed, some of them aren't. These are so cool. These are big, 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 big signed craft. I just think they're really cool. They're so pretty that you could just eat them. <laughs> you could eat them with a spoon. They're so pretty. And, uh, you know, who would wear them? I don't know. You know, I get these things and, and I just love them. But you wouldn't catch me dead wearing them. But I just love them. So, anyway. Those. Awesome makes me happy just to have them. Just to have them for my shop makes me ecstatic. These are really nice. These are signed Ben A-M-U-N. Ben hyphen A-M-U-N. Never had heard of those before either, but I love coin. Oops. I love coin jewelry, and uh, these are really neat. I did find another pair of uh, but they were the opposite. They were like gold in the middle and silver on the outside. I forget what they had had them up for, but I saw a pair of those online. But I love those. So, and Christian Dior. I was hoping there'd be more of the Christian Dior in the lot, but there weren't. There were just these, but they're very nice. Classic clips. Ribbed, knotted. Rib knots, classic clips, signed CHR Dior. Very good brand to look for, very good couture designer. And let me pick that up off the floor. Oop, got it. And these are um, Kenneth Lane. Uh, before he started making his signature Kenneth J. Lane, uh, he signed just Kenneth Lane. That would indicate a 60s piece, I think, or 70s maybe. But these are very nice 
um, gold tone and like milk glass type um, button earrings. So they're nice. I like those. Um, this one isn't signed, but man, is it ever cool. It's a big brooch. I'm calling it the Shooting Star brooch. Uh, it has this flat curb link chains with the stars on the end. So cool. Trombone clasp indicating it's an older piece. Um, just a really great piece. It's really chunky. Super cool piece. Um, I mean, there wasn't a, a piece in here that I was not happy with. Well, there was some broken pieces, which they did disclose there were broken pieces, but um, I was able to salvage one piece and make something fantastic, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, this little poodle with the fleur-de-lis chain and another pin attached to it. It's very cute enamel. Uh, something from the 60s. Very nice art, signed art brooch and clip-on earrings. Very cute. Very cute set. Both signed art on the back. So I like that a lot. Uh, these are signed these might be the Irwin. Yeah, these are the other Irwin Pearl earrings. And they're very nice too. There's a really neat brooch. It's not signed, but it's very pretty. No stones missing. Like a ribbon. Ribbon brooch. See, those are the, these are the things that I have taken pictures of already that I'm ready to, ready to list in the shop. This is a pretty, ooh, I'm going to drop that in my coffee. <laughs> my coffee's sitting down here. It's a pretty, uh, does that help? I think, I, I think that helps rather than doing this, doesn't it? Or doesn't it matter? Anyway, it's a nice brooch. And, okay, that probably is just a little, just a little silver, or a little gold one, a little gold one. Okay, that's the box. These are all, well, there's some signed in there, but here's a big box of chunkies, chunkies. Here is a... Trying to trying to just give you an idea of what I got here. More. <laughs> Let's give you an, a quick overview. More. More. <laughs> uh, <laughs> more. So, yeah, I just had so much fun looking through it, and yes, okay, awesomeness, look at this, isn't that cute, cute, look at that, and at first I thought there was a stones missing there, but it's, it's just holes where his little nose was, where his little nose is, so it's a frog pin, 